I mean, I want to preach a message about this, but I want people to make a lot of it. That's what happens when, we, when we're suffering or when we're struggling with some darkness in our life. It's because we've experienced trauma or pain. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then our heart has sprung into action to try to deliver us from the pain, sure. yeah. right? Yeah. And then that keeps the trauma or the lie in our heart because we keep trying to comfort ourselves from the pain. Well, what God comes and does is he comes and reveals himself so much to us that we begin to feel safe in the midst of the uncomfortableness. We begin to feel safe in the midst of the pain, right? So all of a sudden when the pain or the lie comes, we see daddy sitting there with us. That's right. And we feel yes. comfort. That's right. right. And so instead I of enlisting our members, right. we feel comfort and we calm down because yeah. we see daddy there. Yeah. He puts us to rest in the midst of the pain. Ah, we so don't good. enlist our members at that point. And then all of a sudden, the foundation from where the lie can get plucked out of our heart because yes. we die. Yes, yes. In yes, our yes, heart, yes, if you yes, can yes, see yes, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. We give up the ghost in that place. Yes, so yes. Jesus was in, he was busy dying to the word in the world about his life on the cross. Mm -hmm. There was a word in the world about man. Right. Yeah. He became that image on the cross. Right. right. And he was busy dying unto it. And then the great pressure came for him to save himself from the pain. And in that moment, God, through the Holy Spirit, comforted him. Psalm 23. Right. The, the Holy Spirit filled his soul, filled with life in the midst of him dying, and it put his members to rest so he could find comfort in the midst of the pain from God. And instead of enlisting his members to try to clothe himself, he could cry out to God and rest. And then he could die on behalf of all mankind to the word in the world about man's life. Sure. And that's the only way God could raise him up. Amen. To the truth. Amen. And then we could see the truth. Yeah. Yeah. But see, that's what God comes to do in all of us. Yeah. Yeah. And so what happens is we try to deal with our own pain. There's no shame in that, God. But what this gospel will do is you'll become so aware of God and God with you in darkness and Abba with you. And what it means that Abba's there is what will happen is the next time that pain comes, you'll become more aware of Abba than you will of the pain. And what will happen is, is all the other times when you would spring into action to take care of it yourself, you'll all of, a sudden, all of a sudden find something else happening in you where you don't do anything. And you just sit and you start talking with God about how you feel, about what's going on, about what you're scared of, about why you're scared, about your confusion. And in that foundation, man, the lie that has always brought you that pain gets ripped out. Boom. And it's gone. Yes. Right? It's, it's like... We, we don't spring to action with our with our cement and our bricks and start building the wall up around our hub, our hearts that, that God can't get into, yeah. but that we just put those down and just rest. And that wall doesn't get built, and when that wall doesn't get built, mm -hmm. God has the opportunity to start ministering to us. Yeah. And God does it. Yeah, and God does it, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He persuades you of his integrity. Yeah. Yeah. To the degree you become so aware of his integrity to you, that his integrity towards you will disesteem the pain. Amen. Yes. Right? Yes. It'll it'll cause the pain to start shrinking in the eyes of Abba. It's yeah. like take this away. Yeah. Like I can be still. Do do what you need to do to take this away. Yeah. You know, deliver me from this. Yeah. You know, I 